before we get started with today's episode, I just want to announce that I have a second channel. And if you want to support me on my other channel, there will be a link in the description. It will be the first link to that channel. I uploaded one video so far. It's pretty fun. I just play different games. So if you like my content, make sure to check out my second channel. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another free to play to main account episode this episode we are going to be doing a lot of fishing so we're going to be going back into fishing as you can see we are level one fishing aka tier four and we want to get roughly to level 10 to tier 5 by the end of the episode just because we want to level up fishing uh, it's one of my favorite activities to do in this game therefore i'm going to be leveling it up i know it's been quite some time since last episode as you guys can probably tell there's a lot of things going on currently in the world in the economy uh, so i'm back let's just continue doing these episodes and let's get started with this one the last couple episodes we've been focusing on making some silver and we're currently sitting at 285,000 silver now i logged into this account roughly around 15 minutes ago and i purchased myself a full tier 4 fishing gear as well as tier 3 baits 20 of them and about three seaweed salads so we are going to be doing fishing but i think to start off the episode we are going to do something that we tried doing last episode where we kind of failed at and that is doing the tier 5 expedition for the tier 5 sigil last time we did a tier 4 and kind of forgot that you all can only do one a day uh, but now we're going to do the tier 5 for that tier 5 sigil so let's go ahead and go into that exp expedition we do have our 4.1 gear set and uh, yeah let's go ahead and go all right that's that let's go ahead and i think i'm gonna sell the tier 5 royal token i don't have to keep them for anything so there is one problem i have seen that tier 4 tokens sell maybe a little bit more than tier 5 for some reason maybe um that's just uh, a thing that i saw in the market a long time ago however there's a lot of people playing this game guys like i logged in every city is filled with players even Carleon was filled with a bunch of players. Um, so if we come here and check, we'll see that we can sell this for 24000 So I am kind of correct. You can actually sell Tier 4 sigils pretty much at the same price as a Tier 5 sigil. Sometimes probably a bit more. If we check right here for a Royal Sigil, and let's go to Tier 4. So this is 26000 and Tier 4 is 31000 So I was correct. So technically... Doing tier 4 sigils or tier 4 expeditions is kind of better than tier 5, but hey, we did tier 5. What can we do about it? Let's go ahead and gear up for fishing. Like I said, we're just going to focus on tier 5 yellow zones for the moment. Later on, we'll go into the red zones. And my plan is to just go around in a loop and just keep fishing as much as possible. Hopefully, there's not a lot of people fishing around in this zone. This is the closest one to Thethfort, so there might be people fishing. But yeah, let's just go ahead and start fishing and I'll kind of just report to you guys uh, every once in a while. I am completely forgetting something, and that is the fishing journals. There were a lot of comments on the last episode saying, hey, buy the journals, you can make more money. And I always forget to buy journals every single time I gather or fish. So I'm going to go buy, I'm going to guess between five and six tier four fishing journals, fill them up, and then sell them for a profit. So if you look at, I think it's fishing journals? Journals? Fisherman journals? I'll, I'll buy the journals, and we'll go back to fishing. It's been over an hour of fishing, and this is all that we completed. We did four of the fishermen journals, and this is the whole entire loot that we got from that one hour of fishing. It's a lot, and if we check our destiny board, we are level nine. I did use a little bit of learning points here and there just to help myself out a little bit, but we are level nine. We're gonna eat all our fish, or as much as possible until we get to level 10. We are gonna be using the extra three learning points that we need to get to level 10 just by the 20 percent mark right here so we're not wasting too much fame we do have a lot of learning points and once we get premium we're going to be getting even more so i'm going to go ahead and start eating as much of this fish as possible get to uh, you know the highest level possible i'm only going to use learning points to get to level 10 and then after that i'm just going to keep eating them and get the levels naturally 
that was a lot of eating as you can see we no longer have our fish the only fish that i'm keeping are my tier 3 clams as well as my tier 5 clams the reason being is that they might sell for some silver and i kind of want to make a little bit of profit back or a little bit of silver back from this you know fishing session here so i'm keeping my clams even though they provide the most fame when eating them as you can see we are level 10 on our fisherman node here and we are almost there about halfway done to get to level 11 the next couple episodes we might be able to reach the level 30 section here for the tier 6 the thing is it's going to be a very hard grind and it might be possible that buying fish might be a faster way to level up our fisherman node here we might also use our fame uh not our fame sorry our learning points to level up this fisherman's node now we're gonna go back and we are going to do an old money-making method that I did last episode, and that is pretty much just reselling runes. All right, let's sell everything that we have to sell, starting with our journals. I'm going to say we're going to get 35,000, 36,000 for four journals, and there we go. Clams are going to give us 15,000 for the A tier 5, and then for the tier 3, 27,000 for the tier 3 clams. Now, once again... I did this last episode, and there's a method that I do that makes me some money by uh, pretty much just salvaging runes or artifacts that give me back runes and then reselling those runes into the market for some silver. I have an Excel sheet on my other monitor that tells me the calculations and what uh, price I have to buy the artifacts. I don't want to share the Excel sheet because this is a money-making method that I do on my main account, but basically buy artifacts cheap salvage them get the runes sell the runes back into the market so let's go ahead and do that so we had 292,000 silver and after buying a bunch of these artifacts let's go ahead and come here and salvage them and we will see that we'll be getting a bunch of runes and let's actually check how much money we'll be making so we have 787 tier 6 runes and we're gonna sell them for around 4,700 each and I bought them at an average of around 4,400 so it'll be about 300 profit per rune that I buy as you can see and let's go ahead and actually go into this sell this and we could sell it for a bit more if we do a sell order but just for the video I'm just gonna sell it off to a buy order so as you can see, we are at 299,000 silver. I'm going to continue doing this because as you can see, the tier 6 artifacts are selling for 4,500-ish. And I can sell the runes for 4,700, making myself 300 silver per artifact that I buy. Uh, so I'm going to continue doing this until I buy as much as possible that are cheap. If I run out, I might go into another city. So we'll see. All right, so we ended off with... 318,000 silver here in Thetford. I'm actually going to go into Fort Sterling and do the same method. And I have to buy an ox over there, which is going to cost me like, what, 3,000, 4,000 silver. And do that method here because, you know, it might, might as well do it. And then maybe go around the whole entire continent and try doing this method in every single city to see how much silver we can make in just however long it takes me to fill all the orders. And yeah, so I'll just kind of report with you guys how much silver I'm making per city. So I was only able to go to 331,000 silver at Fort Sterling. I am seeing that a lot of the sell orders are being fulfilled, which kind of means that maybe the population of the game has increased and more people are you know, joining the game, more people are selling runes, more people are selling artifacts. So it could be a good thing. It could also be a bad thing. Let's go ahead and check what Limhurst has for us. Wow. Limhurst had zero profitable trades that I can do zero absolutely zero that's actually crazy there's so much movement in the market that i can't figure out where to buy and what to buy so i'm gonna go into bridge watch this time i have high hopes for bridge watch i do want to get those cheap runes to sell them off we're still at well i did have to buy a transport ox which i just sold off to the market straight off but Let's actually buy a transport ox here, which costs like 5,000. So there is an investment. Maybe I should look for the prices, then buy a transport ox. But let's see what we can do here in Bridgewatch. No, 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 no. Once again, Bridgewatch, zero trades that I can make selling these artifacts. It's actually insane how Limhurst and Bridgewatch, what I do consider one of the most popular cities in the game, they, they actually are just 
they're too populated. There's too much movement going on. And I can't find any trades. Marlock, please. Please, my saving grace of Marlock. Please have some cheap artifacts. I'm going to be losing money here in Marlock just because I bought the Ox. But I did find some artifacts that are selling for cheap. But yeah, we're definitely losing money. But what I do like doing is actually keeping oxes, transport oxes, or some kind of mounts on each city just in case I gotta do some method of making money or trading between cities. Um, but if we sell everything, we will see that we are at a loss because we bought the transport ox. But again, I'm gonna keep it here so next time I come here into Marlock to do something, I already have an ox. And just like that, we're back at Theth Fort where we began not making a lot of silver. So, since I came back here and all the quarantine stuff and a lot of people are playing the game, the money making method that I thought I was going to do this video didn't work out. We didn't make much money, we didn't lose money, but we only made like, what, 30, 40,000 silver? It took me like 20 minutes to do this method, but yeah. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my second channel. There'll be a link in the description. Check it out. I upload more games, more videos. If you guys like this content, make sure to subscribe there. And yeah, I'll see you guys later on the next episode. Peace.